Are you a secretor or a non-secretor? If you've ever been puzzled by this distinctive question, don't worry, because you are not alone. Many have had trouble understanding the notion of blood type secretion and how secretor status can determine changes in your diet. But don't be dismayed. The concept is surprisingly simple. Let's take a look at this unique biological feature and to see which critical roles it performs in your health. Live Right for Your Type, the follow-up companion to Dr. Diadamo's best-selling Eat Right for Your Type, introduces the concept of secretion. In this book, Dr. Diadamo draws a simple illustration, liking people to water faucets, with water being our blood type. Some people are leaky faucets, barely dripping, and others are just the opposite, gushing water everywhere. These secretors, whose blood type spills all over the place, are considerably different from the leaky faucets or the non-secretors, who barely trickle their blood type at all. But how exactly is your blood type being secreted? And where does this secretion take place? Think of your blood type as a physical object, because in reality, that's what it is. A blood type is a simple sugar molecule made of one of four possible combinations of sugars that are stuck on the surface of your red blood cells. Being a secretor means that you release your blood type into the parts of your body that secrete fluids, like mucus, saliva, tears, and sweat. And a non-secretor does just the opposite, secreting little to no blood type in these same places. About 80% of the population has the ability to secrete blood type, so being a non-secretor is somewhat uncommon. The mechanism is controlled by a gene called FUT2, which is located on your 19th chromosome, and it's genetically inherited. You're either born with or without it. As explained in Live Right for Your Type, non-secretors are statistically more prone to bacteria overgrowth, insulin resistance, carbohydrate intolerance, yeast infections, adherence of lectins, dental cavities, ulcers, autoimmune disease, among other health disadvantages. The reason for this anomaly is fairly straightforward. Less expression of your blood type means less protection from the outside world, which means more unwanted things have an easier time getting in. Imagine your body is a large city protected by a fortress. This fortress is your ability to secrete blood type, and the army of soldiers throughout the city represents your immune system. As invading armies approach the city, the fortress allows protection before any damage can be done. The enemy is diverted and the conflict avoided. Non-secretors, since they don't have extra blood type throughout their body, would be missing the protective fortress. So the foreign army is able to make its way through the city walls and begin its destruction before your own army has enough time to respond. By the time the defense, or your immune system, is alerted, damage has already been done. As a result of this discovery, along with the peer-reviewed evidence for the medical significance of one secretor status, Dr. Diadamo has created specific dietary modifications that tailor to your physiological needs, such as customized food values and portion sizes, diet and lifestyle strategies, and therapeutic protocol recommendations. Knowing which factors to focus on and which to avoid is the surest way to achieve and maintain optimum health. To find out your secretor status, visit foryourtype.com and click on the link for the Home Secretor Test Kit. This simple mail-in kit is the most convenient and cost-effective way to discover your secretor status, as secretor testing is difficult to obtain in traditional labs. Whether you're already healthy and want to prevent future illness, or you're currently dealing with a chronic condition, knowing your secretor status is a crucial piece in the puzzle of long-term health. Now that you're ahead of the curve, get your secretor test today and start living right for your type.